Hey everyone, Wagner here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, well then welcome back, my friends. Now this is Virgin Galactic's concept for a supersonic plane. Now back in 2017, Virgin Galactic and Boom Technology formed a partnership that would allow them to create a supersonic passenger transporter and allow them to transport as many as 19 people around the world. So in this video today, I wanted to show you how supersonic flight will make Virgin Galactic a boatload of money and I mean billions and billions of dollars seriously and that's going to be mainly by learning from the past mistakes of the past concords and also by the partnerships that they have formed with other great companies which I will also mention in this video now if you're familiar with past concords you know that max speed has already been tried and done but it wasn't exactly popular with its customers which resulted in low passenger numbers and there were also a lot of environmental concerns and not to mention the high ticket prices and the crash in the early 2000s that they had just made it even worse but virgin galactic's plane will be a lot more futuristic a lot cheaper and a lot safer for its passengers now as a virgin galactic investor i decided to go back in time and read articles that were released during the early days of virgin galactic as well as to catch up on just some of the partnerships that they have made along the years because we have to remember we must always be informed as investors and just reading through them it just made me more excited about their hypersonic flight planes and their services not to mention that arc invest one of the biggest investing firms out there is betting heavily on hypersonic flight stating that it could be a 270 billion dollar business in the future so with that in mind let's get started but before that make sure to hit the like button for the youtube algorithm and subscribe for more virgin galactic videos now as you may know already virgin galactic and rolls royce have partnered to develop a propulsion system or the engine for their hypersonic planes and rolls royce actually has a history of making engines for supersonic planes and they were the engines that actually powered the Concorde back in the day but the initial supersonic design will target Mach 3 or three times the speed of sound now all of this that i just mentioned has the complete ability to disrupt the entire commercial airline industry but wait wagner how great question so let me ask you this what if you could fly from LA to Tokyo in less than 90 minutes. That sounds amazing, right? Exactly, so that's what they're trying to achieve. Now, personally, I would love to travel across the planet in less time than it takes to watch the entire Infinity War movie. Now, one of the problems that Virgin Galactic is actually solving was that the past Concord was absolutely ridiculously super loud. It wasn't environmentally friendly and it had horrible room space for its passengers. Not to mention that their ticket prices were awfully expensive at around the $12,000 price range. So Virgin Galactic aims to address all of those past issues that the past Concord had and make them better. And no, I'm not saying that Virgin Galactic's ticket prices are gonna be very cheap. At first, yes, they will be very expensive, but as there is more demand, and there are more hypersonic planes being developed, then the price ticket will drastically drop down. And that's actually their same plan for their space tourism business. Right now they have a pretty heavy price ticket of $250,000, but as there is more demand, more passengers, and more planes being built, then that ticket price will go down by a lot. Now, a few days ago, Boom Technology actually unveiled its first demonstrator aircraft, XB-1, which is actually going to begin flight testing next year. That's pretty neat, right? And remember that Boom Technology is actually one of Virgin Galactic's partners. But we also have to keep in mind that the XB-1 plane is only a prototype plane. Now the passenger planes are actually going to be in commercial operations in 2029. So that actually gives you a pretty good idea on when hypersonic flights will be for commercial use. Now, so that's gonna be about nine years till hypersonic flights start to become operational. And now we also know that other airlines are gonna be in the business and we know that the advantage will be for Virgin Galactic because we know that after forming their partnership, they will have one of the very first operational supersonic airlines. So Rolls-Royce is going to develop Virgin Galactic's hypersonic engines and the plane will be developed by Boom Technology. Now currently Boom Technology has a partnership with Japan Airlines who have ordered 20 planes and Virgin Galactic have actually ordered 10 frames which comes to show that Virgin Galactic actually has different partners making different parts of their hypersonic planes. Now as an investor at first you would think that they would actually have all of this information out there on their website or somewhere that it's very easy to find but it actually took me a pretty good amount of time to find all of this information because it just scattered all around their partners websites and also 
some very old YouTube videos that, that I was able to find thanks to one of my viewers, which again, thank you. So one of the main things that I wanted to bring up as well is that supersonic or hypersonic planes can be designed very easily and fast. I mean, I'm not talking about like next day fast, but you know, pretty quickly because it's already been done before. The Concorde and the engines have already been produced by some of the very well-known companies that Virgin Galactic has decided to partner with. The real problem with the past Concorde, in my opinion, was the execution of the business model itself and also the inability to make their business more customer-centric and their lack of more innovation in the planes. Now, another Virgin Galactic partner that you should be aware of right now is the Spaceship Company, which is the company that builds and tests the White Knight 2 carrier aircraft in the Spaceship 2 spaceships, which together form Virgin Galactic's human spaceflight system. Now, the Spaceship Company is also collaborating with Boom Technology to create a new supersonic transport. Now, I know there are so many different pieces to Virgin Galactic's puzzle, but stay with me here because as an investor, this is very important information. But hey, lucky for you, you have me to do all of that research for you. So one of the main things that Boom Technology, the Spaceship Company and Virgin Galactic want to do is to just completely learn from the past Concord's mistakes. For example, the Spaceship Company mentioned that they actually want to have a variety of seating options for its passengers, including business or first class, and it would take off and land like any other passenger aircraft and be expected to integrate into existing airport infrastructure, which is great because those are literally all of the problems that the past Concorde had and were not able to fix in time. So now if you're asking yourself, so then Wagner, how is Virgin Galactic going to make billions from their hypersonic flights? Well, that brings me to ARK Invest and their bet on Virgin Galactic and their hypersonic flights, stating that it could become a $270 billion dollar market. And if you haven't watched my video on ARK Invest and Virgin Galactic yet, I will link that in the description below and also in this video. So make sure to check that out. But just in quick summary, they have been adding Virgin Galactic stock to their ARKQ ETF for the past three months. So please be sure to go through that article because it's a really great read and as any investor, I would highly recommend it because the more you know, the better you're going to be. Now, not only that, but we already know that for a great business to blossom, they need a great customer experience and a great product. And Virgin Galactic aims to just do that. Especially by hiring former Disney executive, I know that you're gonna have an amazing customer experience for all of their passengers, whether that's for space tourism or their hypersonic flights, it's just going to be amazing, which in turn can completely disrupt the entire commercial airline industry and even more. So to conclude, if you have invested in Virgin Galactic already, I would highly recommend to just stick in for the long term. If you're a day trader, if you're playing options or if you're trying to gamble in the market, then Virgin Galactic is not for you. If you really believe in the company, you're not going to care about short-term headlines, short-term prices, because the price right now will not reflect in the next 10 to 20 years. What you really want to focus on is dollar cost averaging the stock. And if you don't have any more money to invest, then just hold, but really hold, because the only time you lose money is when you sell. And there's no reason to sell a company that has the ability to disrupt a crazy, industry. And as you already know from watching this video and probably from watching other videos that I see on YouTube on Virgin Galactic, you know that this company is the future. And again, patience is very important and it's very key. Just like any investment you would make. Because when someone tells you that you can make a boatload of money by playing options overnight, they're lying to you, my friend. And that's not good advice at all. All the good things come from being patient. And with that in mind, Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are on hypersonic flights. And if you have any other questions in regards to Virgin Galactic or their different partnerships that they have made, I really actually do love enjoying putting this information out there for you all so that you can just be better informed. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Until next time.